Good morning. I am Mrs. CEO Dana Neal, your host of uh, the Five Minute Message. Today, I um, really want to just um, briefly talk about being tired. You know, we as uh, people, period. You know, there's things that we get tired of and weary in and um, understanding with our own lives. And, you know, we, we really don't know where we want to go sometimes. Excuse me. I'm trying to make this not be a distraction. We really don't know where we want to go sometimes. And we don't know what we want to do that will keep us from being tired. And it's hard when you you need this life, you need your everything, you need your spirituality, you need your faith, you need all of this that we talk about, at the, especially on this five-minute message, every day. You need that to keep going. But when you're tired, when you're tired, my sister said to me, my sister in Christ said yesterday, she prayed with me, and she said, Lord, give her strength, hold her in, in your arms, close to your bosom. And I'm like, Lord, I need rest. I need rest. Hold me close. Keep me from this garbage of life. I need a break from it. I am tired of doing what everyone else does just to get through. Where's my faith? Is is that my faith? Is that my looking at God for more? Is what is that? So, you know, we're talking about tired. And I'm just, forgive me for, you know, kind of bobbing in and out of the camera, but I want to find the scripture. I was just thinking as I talk to you about being weary. And um, for lack of time, I just want to find that for us because there's something, you know, it says, be not weary in well-doing. And, um... It, it's hard. It's hard because you just do. You know, I, I, I guess, you know, for me, I'm trying to stay as spiritually, politically correct as possible. But um, that's not that's not possible. It, it's not all the time. And, and, and I'm, no, I'm not saying you could just dwell on the side of the world and do what they do. What I'm saying is, is that we do get weary. We do get weary tired and, and, and I guess I understand where pastors are those that have the discernment those that have the heart for their sheep those that are um, really in tune to their congregation the people that are close to them they are so tired and weary it's not about flying across the world or across the United States or going to a different country and proving you can do that these pastors are they get weary just in the everyday. Not jet lag. Not preaching. They get weary. So 1 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse, um, verses 13. Verse 13, excuse me, we're just going to read that one verse. Verse 13 says, so that he may establish... I'm sorry, that's that's not right. One second. I want to get this right. And that's the one thing about me with these programs. When I do them, I want to get it right because I don't want to steer anyone in the wrong direction. And because I don't have my glasses on, <laughs> it's not great when you can't see. And it's 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 13 about being weary. And the verse says, But as for you, brethren, do not grow weary in doing good. And um, that that is supposed to just, just help you. Just help you to say, just keep going. But you get weary. And my scripture for today, for being tired, you know, just, just for who you are and where you're supposed to go and what you're supposed to do. And when you think about it as being a person who's maybe new in Christ, you could be young, youthful, a child. Seek God early in life is the... Um, 
subject title of the scripture I want to read. It's in Ecclesiastes 11 verses 9 and 10. Rejoice, O young man, in your youth and let your heart cheer you in the days of your youth. Walk in the ways of your heart and in the sight of your eyes. But know that for all these, God will bring you into judgment. Therefore, remove sorrow from your heart and put away evil from your flesh. For childhood and youth are vanity. Let me say this while I chose the scripture in regards to the topic today on tired. Because it says in verse 9, let your heart cheer you. In verse 10, it says, remove sorrow from your heart. If your heart can cheer you, maybe that'll help us to be um, getting over, getting tired, being tired. If you can remove sorrow from your heart and just walk in happiness, we won't be as tired. So that takes me to, you know, not what the, the uh, scriptures mean, but what those pieces of the scripture can do to apply to your life. Where is our happiness? Where is um, the youthfulness of our lives? Even though this youthful time will pass, we need to do something to give us energy to keep going and building this kingdom. Not building something physical, building the kingdom of God so that the people have a place to go, a place to end up, a place to enjoy their salvation, a place to no longer be tired. Where's our happiness? Where is our... Where is our mindset to help us to know not to be weary in well-doing? Saints, I come here this morning because I know it's hard. Forgive me. I know it's hard. We start every week out going to church and then we continue on and we do the best we can to take the word and apply it to our lives. But we do get tired and it's time that we change that so that we can help another. You cannot start your day to day so tired that you can't help another. The Bible also says be ready in season and out. You are exhausted. I am exhausted today. Exhausted. But I have to be ready. I had to be ready for the five minute message, which I'll say I was 60% ready. But now I have to be ready to go on through my day. And if someone comes to me or if I see someone that, that needs an encouraging word, I have to give it. Because I have to be ready. And I cannot be weary and well doing. So I hope that God helps you on today. I, my prayer is that we all get the strength from the Lord today and every day forward so that we are not tired and we can help each other. Have a wonderful day.